Yo, what is up lads, it's Tom. And today we're gonna to talk about what it actually takes to get rich in your 20s and actually escape your hometown. Like, this is one of the biggest questions I get on Instagram, obviously. I'm known for, originally, my VIP physique coaching business. And now I live a great lifestyle out in Dubai, plays in Bali, and more commonly than not now, I wake up to DMs every single morning like, Tom, but how have you like actually, you're 23, I've actually just turned 24 uh, the other day, but how have you actually made it happen? Because I know this is a big pain when you're in your 20s, you're seeing people succeed, earn money, travel, live this lifestyle, and you're like, but how are they actually doing it? Like everyone's got the same world in front of them, but what are the missing secrets that they have that you may not know right now that is costing you the life you want. And I'm gonna run you through the five main steps which will allow you genuinely, if you watch these five steps and you apply them, you will not be able to fail. All right, so we're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna beat around the fucking bush. We're gonna get right at it. So number one is first impressions. Before we even get started on building an online business and traveling and how we create wealth and freedom. If someone was to look at you right now, walking around the street, on your social media, whatever, what would their first impressions of you be? So how you look, how you hold yourself, your posture, how you articulate your words if you're in a conversation with them, what would their first impressions of you be? Because if you do want to build an online presence, an online business, create income, you have to give off a great first impression because it's just gonna be an exchange of value. Money is an exchange of value. So the first thing you have to nail is that part. What is the first impression you're giving off? So I put down here, what does your physique look like? Does it show discipline? Does it show respect for yourself? Because if it looks like you can't even show up for yourself, how are you gonna take care of other people? In an online business, a service-based business or a product slash service-based business online, whether that's courses, whether that's coaching or consultancy, and you're charging money for your services or product, if you look like you can't even take care of yourself, why would they have trust in your product or service that that's even gonna work in the first place? They wouldn't. So the first thing you need to do is work on your fitness, you work on your physique, you don't need to be a pro bodybuilder, but do you look like you actually take care of yourself? Are you like eight to 10% body fat? Does it show you respect yourself? Do you take care of your appearance? Do you wear relatively good clothes, which are, don't have to be the same as everyone else wants, you can wear whatever you want, right? I wear clothes I like, but it doesn't mean you've got to copy what everyone else wears, but do you wear clothes that suit your style? look good, it's not like you're wearing your fucking pajamas when you're walking around the street. And what standards do you hold yourself to? These are the first things that anyone is gonna see. And the thing is guys, you only get a first impression once. So the biggest thing you need to work on before you start working on everything else we're gonna talk about in this video, the rest, the other four points, aren't even gonna do anything unless you can make a good first impression because these days, the attention span of people is so short and they'll just go if they don't like it. So you have to make a good first impression with how you show up for yourself because how you show up for yourself will show how you will show up in your service, in your business, in your products and in your service, which is where people will exchange money with you because they know what you deliver is gonna be high quality. So get in the gym, work on your nutrition, work on your training, invest in yourself, Wear nice stuff, it doesn't have to be expensive stuff. Get to shops like Zara or whatever, just simple, plain, minimalistic stuff. Get a haircut, right? Anything like that, just simple, minimalistic, and you just look like you actually take care of yourself. Now, the second part of this is making sure you now understand what path you actually wanna take because a lot of people rush to, oh, I need to live this lifestyle, I need to earn money, and they start something. They start doing trading. They start doing crypto. They start an e-com business. 
They start doing coaching because their mate's a coach. They start doing any of this stuff, right? But the reason why you start something, so you may have experienced this before. If you've ever been in, in started a fitness journey and you didn't finish it, the chances are it's probably because it weren't sustainable and you didn't enjoy the style of training and nutrition or whatever you were doing and then you fell off the wagon and you stopped. The same applies when it comes to business and making money. If you do not enjoy what you're doing and you're not passionate about it and you're not obsessed with it, you won't do it for a long enough period of time consistently to high quality with obsession to become the best in an industry if you're not obsessed with it. So I'm all for, you know, some people come out and just say, do whatever makes money. You've got to pick a business model that works. Yes, there's truth to that. Any business model, you can make 100K a month. Beyond that, I agree. There are certain business models you need to be in if you want to scale and you want to make it efficient for yourself. But to the goals that we're talking about right now, getting out of the hometown, moving overseas, whether you come into Dubai or you just go into a bigger city like London or Miami or wherever you're going, right? You simply just need to follow something that you love. So what I always talked about, what I always talk about with my CEO clients, if we're talking about the clients who are in the build package, which is where we effectively structure their business around what they love. And we're starting from complete scratch. These people who come to me with in CEO build literally have no offer yet. And they are scaling from naught to 10K. That is simply it. So we're building everything from scratch. But in order to do that, we have to figure out what they like. And the first thing we talk about in onboarding, one of the, one of the key things is, okay, what do you talk about the most? What do you think about the most? What do you watch the most? And what are your hobbies? That simple, that sounds a little bit stupid. But for me, when I started out in business, I did exactly this process. I was working with a mentor, a consultant, and we went through this process and we were talking about, okay, what do I actually love? I loved fitness, I still do. I love getting in shape. I love pushing my body to a point where it just looks like I respect myself. I'm in good shape, I feel confident in business and in personal. If I'm at a beach club, I look good. It helps obviously with attracting women respected by men. Everything like this, this meant so much to me and had such a big impact on my life, working on my physique. I was like, I love this and I was so obsessed with it. I studied it every day. I took my own physique to a great level. I was like, I wanna, I wanna help people with this because I know how to do it. I'm investing in myself, I'm watching about, I'm watching all these videos on it, I'm studying courses, I'm working with a coach myself, all of this stuff, I was like, I need to build myself a product or service around this thing because I'm so obsessed with it, I won't get bored of it. And here I am now, three and a half, four years down the line, still not bored of it with a huge business in physique and mindset coaching, okay? And now today, we've got more products, we've got the business coaching, why? Because what else do I think about every single day? Business, helping other people live the life because yes, physique is great, but I also love business and I've mastered business. I'm not saying I'm a billionaire, I'm not Jeff Bezos, but I'm obsessed with business and how you can provide so much value to people that will change their lives, they will get a result, give you a testimonial and completely transform their life and you can exchange monetary for that, value for value, change their life and obviously keep impact in your own life. So for me, always follow my passion, physique, business are my two biggest passions and mindset's a huge element in both and they're the things I think about and study all the time. So I have built my services around what I love, I don't get bored of it and therefore I can become the best at it. I will be everybody at it in my time and I will just learn every single day about it, keep leveling up my services, refine the product every single day, every single week, deliver even more to them, get them amazing results, keep investing back in myself and keep making a better product and service and it just snowballs into something which is huge. And you can't not earn money when you're passionate, when you're becoming so good, you have to become undeniable and irreplaceable. If you are going into something where it's a side hustle. A side hustle means you don't care about it enough. You've got to make this your business. You've got to make this your obsession and you have to be thinking about it. So if all you think about all day is music, make an online product or service around music. If all you think about is physique, make it around physique coaching. 
I was actually working with one of our new CEO build clients the other day and he loves dress. He loves style. He loves mindset. So we've built him a service, a course, and a high ticket coaching offer around exactly that because he loves it. He's a master at it. He will keep getting better at it and will build a huge business doing this. So figure out what are you thinking about? If you were to ask your friends or family, what does, what does Joe talk about all day? What does Harry talk about all day? Ask people, what are you talking about? What are you thinking about? What are you watching? What's your favorite film? Because usually if you think about what your favorite film is, it's usually because you love that main character and you almost want to be the main character. So is it Batman? Is it Wolf of Wall Street? Is it any of these things? Maybe it's Arnold Schwarzenegger and it's like, I just want to be a bodybuilder because you love it that much. And you need to be in physique if that's the case. It doesn't mean you've got to be a coach in it. It could just mean you make a gym apparel brand or whatever. It's something which is in that space. You can get creative with it. So think about that as much as possible. Now, the third thing, once you've decided your industry, something that you're obsessed with, something you're gonna get better at and invest in time and money every day, every week, you then need to think about, okay, what is the service or product that I could offer? What is the offer itself gonna be? Is it gonna be a low ticket offer? Or is it gonna be a high ticket offer? I would say, originally you will be better off making a moderate to higher ticket offer. So effectively, a lot of people make the mistake of going for a low ticket offer, which is just a 9.99 product or a 20 pound product or a $50 product for the US guys. And the problem is when you're starting out, you do not have a big enough authority. You don't have a big enough following most likely to sell and influence mass amounts of people into a low ticket product. You are much better off just being a master at something and helping someone time for time. So instead of having a scalable product, which is low ticket and gives a moderate to lower amount of value, you're better off just giving your time, getting a mass amounts of results. So for example, if you're into physique, it would be being a physique coach, one-to-one, -one, check ins every week, it may be calls, and it's you're gonna give your time for money, get results from these people, get tem testimonials from these people, change their life, scale a huge business with that, maybe employing staff down the line. And once you get to a point then over the years where you've built your authority, you could then drop in a low ticket product. But for now, I would say if you're starting out, you're earning nothing, maybe just starting, maybe you're earning three, four, five K a month, you wanna be going for a medium to higher ticket offer. So not something like the $20, $50 things. You want to be looking at the 200 to 1500 a month products or services where you can offer your time in a service and you want to break down what that program deliverables would consist of. And this is going to be one, one to one. Okay. That's what you want to be doing. You then want to make an offer. Now I'm not going to go deep down into the offer today and how you structure that because that's another thing in itself. And I've actually got a free resource on this. So I'll actually plug it in. Below this video, in the bio, I will put in my free resource and it's effectively how to zero to 10K per month in online business. And a big component of that is, yes, what we're talking about now, but a lot of it's about how you build an offer, a high ticket offer, so you can provide mass amounts of value. Other people can see the value, take the value and how you get results with them and how you, the, all the business model and everything you need to go from naught to 10. So when it comes to making the offer, go and just get that down below. I'll send it you over. There's just like a 10 second form just to fill out, just name and email or whatever, and I'll send you that over, okay? So you need to structure an offer. One product is the key. You don't want 50 products at the start. Yes, now I do physique, I do business, but did I at the start? No. I simply just had one product, which was my VIP coaching, and that took me to a very large amount of money. Then from there, you can add in other things and help your audience in other ways. But you simply just want one product to a minimum of 10 to 15K per month, if not more. I would argue quite a lot more than that, okay? Now, the fourth thing I wanna talk about is, okay, we know our interests, we're working on our physique, we're working on how we look, we're working on how we present ourselves. We've got an offer, we've watched that video that's down below and we're like, okay, but like, how do we now actually make that happen? How do we turn that into a thing? Because so many of you guys watching this have an idea, you know what you wanna do. 
but how do you turn that into a physical thing and turn that into money in your bank account, provide value to people, and you be able to live your dream lifestyle with your dream business? That is the question. And this is all gonna come down to one word, and that word is simply time. You have to become a master of time, and you have to understand the word sacrifice. Now, if you ask me, it's not really fucking sacrifice, is it? You're sacrificing right now, living, working in your nine to five or on your side hustle with no fucking money, not being able to do what you want when you want. You wanna go away and you would love to be in Dubai tomorrow, but you can't because you check your bank account, you can't. You wanna take your bird or a girl out on a date to the best restaurant, but you can't. That's sacrifice. You're sacrificing right now, bro. So you're gonna have to pull back in some areas. It's like, yes, you might wanna watch Netflix and eat a Domino's pizza tonight, bro. But you're gonna have to suck it up and sacrifice a little bit and now start to leverage your calendar. So if you've got this nine to five in here right now, you need to leverage the morning, leverage the evening. If you're trying to persuade yourself right now that you don't have the time to work on your physical and mental state and your business, you are being a little pussy, bro, playing the victim. Everybody has a time, everybody's been in this position. I used to be in my nine to five just a few years ago as an engineer, I was a little skinny fat simp, no mindset, no physique, no business, and all I had to do was just make a decision one day I was gonna make it happen. Get disciplined, sacrifice, okay, I'm gonna wake up earlier, I'm gonna literally work on my coaching. I'm gonna educate myself in the evening. I'm gonna be in the gym. I'm gonna be working on my social media content. I'm gonna be trying to acquire clients. I'm gonna be trying to provide more value to people for free. You've got to do this, right? So structure your calendar. You've got your nine to five in there. Leverage the evenings and mornings. So what needs to be worked into the calendar on top of your nine to five? The only things that need to be in there is your training and your nutrition. Without that, you will have no discipline and no mindset that's gonna transfer into anything else. So training and nutrition, working on the vehicle to take you there is number one. So that's non-negotiable every day. Exercise and nutrition. Calories and macros, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It's not that, oh, you build a bodybuilder physique and you become a millionaire, that's not true but you definitely need an element of, you wanna be lean, you wanna be ripped. If you're in the physique coaching industry, you definitely need a sick physique because you have to show you know what you're doing, okay? But training and nutrition, you need time in there for education. Education around simply the thing you're going to be providing a service on and also on how to run and build a business. So you've got two forms of education. If you are a beginner physique coach, for example, you need to be studying how to get better results with your clients, and you also need to be studying how to run and operate a business, or be working with a mentor to help you on this at the same time. That way is gonna 10X your speed of growth. That's what I did since day one. I was straight in with mentors. I spent all my money. I literally zeroed myself out, but it allowed me to grow at 10X pace and get all the answers I needed straight away. From here, you then need time to actually work on the business. So you've got education, training, and nutrition, and then you need a couple of hours, or one hour a day, or 30 minutes a day, to simply just work on building the offer, building the product, creating content, marketing, providing fulfillment to the clients if you've got them. And if you just keep everything which is not your nine to five, all for that, you will realize that you are not gonna have any issues getting there. It's right now your calendar just does not look like you would be successful. That is the reason you're not where you wanna be, okay? Because you probably don't believe you can do it. Because you don't believe you can do it, you take less action. Because you're now taking less action, you're getting less results. And you're in a spiral of going fucking nowhere. You have to start believing that you can make this happen because you can. Anybody can when they put themselves mentally in a position where they are going to make it happen. I once didn't believe I could be here. I probably thought it would be by the time I was 30, I might be able to be, but I was committed to it will happen, I just don't know when. At 22, I achieved my forever goals. Now I've 100 x them, but that's the point. And finally, what I've put is you need to start removing vices. So yes, we're gonna work on what we're gonna be doing within the calendar, but you need to start pulling back on everything that's holding you back. So it's all good knowing what to do. We're gonna work on training, nutrition, education on business and the niche we're gonna provide a service in. And then we're gonna be working on the business, but like, okay, when your mate calls you and says, do you wanna go for a Macca's? Do you wanna go on a drive? Do you wanna to go to the cinema? Do you wanna do this? 
you've got to understand until you started making 10K a month, you, you do not have the rights to be taking weekends off, bro. You don't have the rights. You've got to be working. If you just go in your a Google Calendar and you put nine to five in there, and then look at all the space everywhere else, look how much space you're wasting. All of that needs to be on growing. Training, nutrition, education, fulfillment, building it, marketing it, social media content, and mastering that. Now, if you do wanna speed this process up, yes, you can work with business consultants. I offer this myself for build or for scale who are going 10 plus K per month or build building everything out from the start. Or you can get into courses. I've got a free resource, which we've already talked about in here, but you have to start making it happen today. There is no right time. Me, when I started, I felt like there was never a right time and there weren't and I just committed to it. You have to just say today, if you're gonna want that goal, you have to start today, make it happen, and just invest in yourself today. Because if you don't today, it's not gonna happen. Do you really wanna get six months down the line, three years down the line, and you go, oh, I'd love to make that happen. Everyone else has done it and you haven't? No. So just pull your finger out, bro. Stop being a pussy. I'm saying this for your benefit. Everyone can do it. You're just being a little bitch at the minute. All right, bro, <laughs> let's fucking go.